Egypt is a country that has been the center of attention for many centuries. This is because it houses some of the most incredible discoveries of modern times, a fact that has come as both good and bad news to scientists after discovering incredible but scary things in Egypt. Scientists have noted many events in history which have seemed to be unexplainable to them. As a result of this much research, scientists have come up with some very interesting answers to many questions that have been plagued them for centuries. More importantly, they have shed much more light on what life must have been like for those who lived so long ago. The following are the top 20 most incredible finds in Egypt that scare scientists. Number 20. Hidden Chambers Inside the Sphinx For ages, people have held out hope that treasure is buried beneath the Sphinx. Now, archaeologists are eager to get to the bottom of the mystery. Among Egypt's many iconic landmarks is the Great Sphinx of Giza. There is maybe no more well-known Egyptian landmark than the Great Sphinx of Giza. There is a secret entry beneath the statue, as recently disclosed by a prominent British historian. Near the Great Pyramid of Giza, one of Egypt's most visited attractions, lies the world-famous which has been around for about 4,500 years. Despite the statue's age and widespread attention, surprisingly, little is known about it. The statue may hold the key to unlocking mysteries and locating treasure. It may be worthwhile to uncover two underground chambers near the Sphinx. Ancient Egyptians grew to revere and fear the supernatural being throughout several generations. In addition, interest in the Sphinx will not soon fade. The truth is that nobody knows for sure what these were put to use for, but scientists are working hard to figure it out. Is there some sort of valuable item you think we can find in these secret rooms? Leave a comment and let us know. You might be right about about what will happen, and we might be the octopus that solves secrets before the rest of the world. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Archaeologist Uncovers a Frightening Mummy when excavating a tomb in Egypt, archaeologists came across the remains of a scary mummy with bone experts scratching their heads. Dr. Martina Bardanova, an archaeologist, made the find in Aswan, a historic city on the Nile. She was leading a Spanish research team on the cliffs looking into the period of Hatshepsut, Egypt's first female ruler when they found the tomb. Researchers carefully dug the tomb's exterior before breaking in, achieving a remarkable breakthrough amid difficult circumstances. Martina discovered a tomb that had been protected from treasure hunters, but before that, she must reach the tomb before oncoming Saharan sandstorm. Oh my god. The 200 meters to the gravesite struggle as the sandstorm picks in speed. While safely within the tomb, the group can carefully lift the terracotta casket's lid. After nearly 4,000 years, they are about to find out if anything still exists. She appeared frightened by the sight of the casket as the expert tried to remove it. It's a lot of weight, so tread carefully since it looks terrifying. It's like in a horror film, if the mummy starts to move. I'm sure none of the team members would find their shoes. They are going to get out of there as quickly as they can. The mummy was placed there but was not properly bandaged, so it looks awful. Number 18. Khufu Pyramid Secret Chamber the Great Pyramid of Giza is the greatest pyramid ever built in ancient Egypt and is the sole remaining wonder of the ancient world. It was built for the pharaoh Khufu, reigned circa 2551 BC to 2528 BC. The Great Pyramid of Giza is the greatest pyramid ever built in ancient Egypt and the only ancient wonder that has survived to present day. It was built during the reign of the pharaoh Khufu, 2551 to 2528 BC. The Scan Pyramids initiative conducted several scans between between 2015 and 2017 to look for gaps using analysis of muons, which are regularly falling cosmic particles on Earth. In 2017, scans like those unearthed both cavities. New researchers intend to re-examine the Great Pyramid, using a more robust method to conduct in-depth muon analysis. Previous scans of the pyramid have estimated the largest of the two cavities to be around 98 feet, 30 meters in length, and 20 feet, 6 meters in height, and is positioned directly above the Great Gallery, which leads to what may be the chamber of the pharaoh Khufu. The archaeologists claimed they did not know if the space would turn out to be the enormous room or multiple smaller ones. You probably want to know if these rooms were available for rent. Leave a comment and let us know. Number 17. Crocodile Mummy 
Animals that had been mummified were highly esteemed in ancient Egypt for a number of reasons, including serving as votive offerings, acting as mediators between humans and the gods, and even being seen as incarnations of various deities. Mummy makers used a wide variety of collection methods to provide a regular supply of animals for embalming, including scavenging dead animals, breeding animals specifically for mummification, and setting traps in their natural habitats. A severe skull fracture on the top of the skull that delivered direct damage to the brain is the leading cause of mortality. The size and shape of the fracture indicate that it was caused by a single hit, most likely from a thick wooden club delivered to the crocodile's right posterior side when it was reclining on the ground. The report claims that the provider began the mummification process quite soon after the death of the crocodile, covering up the dent in its skull, then applying oil and resins to the carcass, and finally wrapping it in linen. While embalmed, the animal still had its last meal of reptile eggs, insects, fish, and a rodent in its stomach. Probably would get a chance to digest the food in the afterlife. Number 16. Tut's Tomb the Curse of the Pharaoh, often called King Tut's Curse, is one of the most infamous curses in history. The discovery of King Tutankhamun's tomb in Egypt's Valley of the Kings sparked rumors that anyone who disturbed the boy king's remains would be doomed to an awful fate. Many people believed to have been involved with opening the tomb mysteriously died soon after, which is not as spectacular as a murderous mummy, but it is widely believed to have been the result of a curse. Some people who helped unearth the tomb did pass away soon after it was opened, lending credence to the urban legend. The death of George Edward Stanhope, Molyneux, Herbert, the fifth Earl of Carnarvon, a British aristocrat and amateur Egyptologist who helped fund the hunt, is the most well-known tragedy linked to the curse. Many people find his death on March 25, 1923, one year after the tomb was uncovered, intriguing, but he was in terrible condition before he even arrived in Cairo, and he ultimately succumbed to a quite commonplace mosquito-borne illness. Scores of people from guards to archaeologists were in involved in opening Tutankhamun's tomb, and it's only natural that a few of them perish in mysterious circumstances. Do you think this curse is the truth or just a fallacy? Share your view in the comment section below. Number 15. Giant Statue of Pharaoh Ramses II an 8-meter statue was unearthed in a Cairo slum partially buried in groundwater. It's widely believed that it depicts Pharaoh Ramses II, who reigned Egypt from 1279 to 1213 BCE. Egyptian and German archaeologists unearthed a quartzite statue in Mataria's working-class neighborhood among incomplete houses and dirt roads. Heliopolis, an ancient city, was likely located nearby. Archaeologists believe that the recently unearthed statue represents Ramses II because he is credited with establishing a solar temple in the ancient city. The 26-foot-tall quartzite figure dates back to the period between 3000 and now. Egypt's Ministry of Antiquities has hailed the find as a major one. Despite the absence of a pharaoh's name on the artifacts, the fact that they were unearthed so close to Ramses' themed temple makes it likely that they depict the pharaoh. Ancient Egyptian King Ramses II is widely recognized as a historical figure. His 60-year reign was one of the longest in ancient Egypt, lasting from 1279 to 1213 BC. With his military acumen, Egypt could extend its influence to modern-day Syria and Sudan. His rule coincided with a period of unprecedented prosperity in Egypt, earning him the moniker Ramses the Great. This is scary. What if he gets angry at the scientists for trying to claim his territory and begins to fight? Impossible or possible? Number 14. Ancient Egypt Extraordinary Find as DNA of Mummified Baby Girls Shared with King Tut Shocking discoveries of two mummified infant girls presumed to be King Tutankhamun's daughters in his tomb have provided a fascinating window into ancient Egyptian life. Egyptologists have long studied numerous artifacts discovered in Egypt. The Nile Valley, where many artifacts from antiquity have been discovered, is located along the banks of the Nile. King Tutankhamun, who may or may not have existed, is one of ancient Egypt's most well-known namesakes. In 1992, his tomb was discovered in the Valley of the Kings, a reign where tombs for pharaohs and prominent nobles for New Kingdom were excavated from the surrounding rock for about 500 years. 
From the 16th to 11th century BC, after their discovery, these sites provided archaeologists and explorers with a wealth of artifacts and information about the ancient tomb. Some 5,000 artifacts were discovered in the tomb of King Tut, all of which were presumed to have been left there to aid him on his afterlife journey. A series on the Smithsonian Channel called Secrets Tut's Last Expedition delved into a discovery that has stunned scholars for years. Two infant daughters were found mummified and exquisitely preserved in his grave. Number 13. Mummified Lions Discovered at Saqqara The Egyptian Antiquities Ministry revealed this weekend a massive trove of artifacts and mummified animals discovered in the Saqqara necropolis south of Cairo, including the exceptionally rare remains of at least two lion cubs. Other mummified animals discovered there include crocodiles, cobras, and scarab beetles. Additionally, two smaller scarab statues carved from wood and sandstone and a large scarab carved from stone were discovered by archaeologists. 73 bronze statues of Osiris, 6 wooden statues of Ptah Soker, 11 statues of the lioness goddess Sekhmet, and a carved statue of the goddess Neith were also discovered, as detailed in the statement. In addition to the mummy masks and papyrus scrolls, the cache also contains amulets depicting the goddess Tawart. Many artifacts can be traced back to the 26th dynasty of Egypt, 610 to 664 BC, because of the name of King Samtik, the first on them. Five mummified cats were the most significant discovery by archaeologists. Two of the animals were identified as lion cubs using CT scans due to the size and shape of their bones, but the identities of the other three cats remain unknown. It will be the only one of its kind, whether a cheetah, leopard, lioness, or panther. Number 12. Ushabti Figurines known as Ushabtis were made specifically to be interred with the deceased. Ushabtis resemble mummified humans and they often stand with their arms crossed. Some, such as the Ushabti and the Gedi, were meticulously crafted and feature intricate details while others are more basic in design. Ushabtis could be fashioned from various materials such as wood or clay, but faians was the most popular option. The term faience refers to a type of ceramic in which the clay has been removed before the object is glazed and fired. While blue and green glazes were the most common, faience also came in various colors. Due to its low cost and versatility, faience was widely utilized for the production of many different items, including vessels, jewelry, and especially ushabtis. The ushabtis in Egyptian belief would come to life alongside the dead and carry out any menial tasks the dead might have in the afterlife. Most ushabtis are portrayed with agriculture cultural implements like hoes or bags of seeds, suggesting that Egyptians expected farming to play a significant role in the afterlife. Each figurine would typically have a brief spell carved into its base from the Book of the Dead Guide to the Ushabti. What do you think of Ushabtis? Share your view in the comment section below. Number 11. Builders of the Pyramids on Sunday, Egypt's Antiquities Ministry announced the discovery of a new set of tombs belonging to the workers who built the Great Pyramids, providing insight into the daily lives and diets of those workers more than 4,000 years ago. They worked in three-month shifts, ate regular meat, and were honored to be buried in bud brick tombs beneath the sacred pyramids they helped construct. <laughs> According to Zahi Hawass, head of Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities, the newly discovered tombs date to late 4th Dynasty, 2575 BC to 2467 BC, when the Great Pyramids were constructed. In 1990, the first pyramid builders' graves were discovered in the area, and subsequent discoveries have been proven that the workers were not slaves but paid laborers. The fact that these tombs were constructed next to the King's Pyramid proves that they were not slaves. Had they been slaves, they certainly would not have constructed their tombs next to those of their king. About 10,000 construction workers relied on daily deliveries of 21 cattle and 23 sheep from northern and southern Egypt farms. Isn't that so amazing? Number 10. KV-5 Tomb The biggest and scariest tomb ever was just discovered. Speaking of which, 
There are at least 121 rooms and corridors in the enormous underground KV-5 tomb in the Valley of the Kings. Although it was first found in 1995, its exact size is still unknown. Large underground graves must rank among the terrifying sites you might visit. We don't know how many corpses are concealed within the walls, which makes this one much more terrifying. According to some specialists, there may be more than 150 different rooms in the tomb, and there are likely hundreds of undiscovered mummies there as well. The process of uncovering a tomb is unique to archaeology. Archaeologists are instructed to start at the top and work their way down, traveling back in time as they uncover even deeper layers. It's typically essential to dig horizontally in a tomb. This makes it exceedingly challenging to remember which layers correspond to which historical eras. Due to the challenging nature of the material that fills KV-5's chambers, work there is much more challenging. Pickaxes are required to clear the debris, but brushes and dental picks are required to remove the delicate items that are located there. Number 9. Tomb Full of Sacred Cats and Beetles Found in Egypt Cats and scarab beetles were among the mummies unearthed by Egyptian archaeologists from various tombs. These antiquities date back more than 4,000 years and were discovered in Saqqara, which is located south of Cairo. Throughout two millennia, the city of Memphis, Egypt's ancient capital was served by this enormous cemetery. Animals, including cats, were accorded a special status in the afterlife by ancient Egyptians. A bronze statue of a cat goddess was buried in one of the tombs. Mustafa Waziri of Egypt's Antiquities Council described the discovery of a mummified scarabs as something a bit rare, as scarabs had both secular and religious significance. A total of seven tombs were uncovered near the King Yusukov Pyramid. Cats were in the hands of three of them. More excavation at the Saqqara site is in the works. The tomb's entrance was discovered, and the archaeologists hope to break it open in the coming weeks. Two enormous, painstakingly mummified scarabs and a larger collection of cherished beetles were discovered in a limestone sarcophagus. The mummified scarab is truly one of a kind. This is a pretty unusual occurrence. Two days ago, we found some coffins that turned out to be sealed mummies decorated with drawings of scarabs. This tomb is one of seven found in the vicinity of the King Yusukov Pyramid in the past six months. Number 8. Sealed Coffins in Luxor Archaeologists working in the city of Luxor have uncovered what they call a huge cache of consisting more than 20 buried caskets. The announcement noted that the coffins were found as the ancient Egyptians left them, referring to the fact that the engravings on the coffins could still be read and that their brilliant colors had not faded. al Asasif is an ancient cemetery located on the western bank of the Nile. It's where the enormous tomb that contained the scattered coffins was found. The region currently known as Luxor was actually a part of the ancient metropolis of Thebes in ancient times. During the period of the pharaohs, the burial ground of al Asif was reserved for nobles and prominent officials. Before, the cemetery was responsible for discovering antiquities from Egypt's 18th dynasty, which began approximately 1539 BC. At a press conference that will take place in Luxor on the following Saturday, information on the likely period from which these coffins it was stated that this discovery was one of the largest and most important discoveries published in the last several years. Number 7. Lost Golden City Dating back to the time of Amenhotep III, this ancient city saw continued use under the reigns of both Tutankhamun and Ai, making it 3,000 years old. Many international expeditions looked for but failed to locate this city. To their astonishment, the Egyptian expedition unearthed Egypt's largest city. This city flourished during the reign of one of Egypt's greatest kings, Amenhotep III, the ninth king of the 18th dynasty who reigned from 1391 to 1353 BC. Amenhotep III's son, the famous Amenhotep IV Akhenaton, would later become king. During the time of the Egyptian Empire, this western bank of Luxor settlement was the center of government and industry. Houses with walls as high as three meters line the city's streets. If the lost city can be located, not only will it help solve one of history's greatest mysteries, but it will also provide a unique window into the daily lives of the ancient Egyptians during the height of the empire's prosperity. 
In September 2020, the excavation began, and within weeks, the team discovered a wide variety of mud brick formations in seemingly random places. They found the remains of a large city that had been well preserved, including nearly intact walls and rooms containing the implements of daily life. Number 6. Mystery Black Tomb Opened in Alexandria A sarcophagus hewn from 30 tons of black granite. The city's largest stone coffin was uncovered on a construction site. The internet went crazy with theories that the 8.5 by 5 foot tomb was cursed, that it would trigger the end of the world, or that it housed a super mummy. Although a petition was started asking Egyptian authorities to let people drink the red liquid from the dark sarcophagus in order to assume its powers, the discovery of three normal human bodies floating in a soup of red sewage was disappointing to many. There's nothing quite as thrilling as discovering Alexander the Great's tomb, but talking to the locals, it is still enlightening. Bones such as skulls, pelvises, and others were studied. There is one female body and two male bodies, all of which appear to have been dumped at separate times and then stacked on top of one another. An earlier theory that the tomb's inhabitants were soldiers has been disproven by the presence of a woman in the burial. The woman was in her 20s, while one of the men was in his mid-30s and the other was in his 40s or 40s and a half. The hole in the skull of the last skeleton completely healed before the man died. As a result, trepanation may be the cause of the cavity. Although it had been around since prehistoric times, this type of surgery was extremely uncommon in ancient Egypt. Number 5. Screaming Mummy Screaming Mummy, now he's back. Prince Pentuer, who tried to end his life of his father, Pharaoh Ramses III, and was probably successful, is on display at the Egyptian Museum of Cairo. He finished off his life after being tried for his crime. The screaming mummy, also known as Pentaur's mummy, was not properly mummified. His body was left to mummify naturally with his mouth agape and facial muscles sustained to give impression that the mummy was screaming. It's unclear if he died in a hysterical fit or if he was made to look that way after his death. The people who were burying him wrapped his body in sheepskin, considered ritually impure by ancient Egyptians. The mummy of Pentaur was discovered alongside a trove of others in a tomb at Deir el-Bahari. The prince's assassination attempt was successful, which must give him some solace. Mummy research conducted in 2012 revealed that Ramses III, reign 1184 to 1155 BC, died from a slashed throat, most likely during the assassination attempt that Pentaur helped to orchestrate. DNA testing also showed that the screaming mummy was descended from Ramses III, and the researchers confirmed that it's most likely Pentaur's mummy based on the mummy's unusual burial treatment. Number 4. The Saqqara Bird The Saqqara Bird, a simple curvature discovered in a burial site near Egypt's oldest step pyramid, is thought to solve a remarkable mystery. The aerodynamic precision of the Saqqara Bird is astonishing. Its wing and fuselage appear to have similarities to modern aircraft engineering. Could the ancient Egyptians have processed the technology of flight over 4,000 years ago? If so, then how? You can find the little wooden bird with the inscription I want to in room 22 of the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. Fly Simon Sanderson, an expert in aerodynamics who has been intrigued by the Saqqara bird for years, used cutting-edge methods to determine whether or not the ancient Egyptians built a full-scale gliding machine based on the bird's design. Using state-of-the-art equipment developed at the University of Liverpool in England, he flew the ultimate test, noting that the wing's top is curved and doesn't look like modern time designs but has aerodynamic properties. The discovery of the Saqqara bird sparked this fascinating debate over whether or not ancient Egyptians could fly. Nevertheless, Simon and his team at Liverpool conducted a 3D analysis and built a model of the Saqqara bird five times its original size. Simon claims that this model is the first step in comprehending the Egyptians' aerodynamic techniques. Number 3. 100 Ancient Wooden Coffins in a massive pharaonic necropolis south of Cairo, Egypt's archaeologists have discovered at least 100 perfectly preserved ancient coffins, some containing mummies and 40 statues. These coffins were sealed and buried in burial shafts alongside golden masks and amulets more than 2,500 years ago, and the intricate painted designs on their lids are still visible today. The Egyptian antiquities officials who exhibited the coffins at the Saqqara necropolis suggested that the fact that they were in such good condition indicated that their owners were members of a higher class. As a result, the sheer number and high standard of the tombs are two of the most notable aspects of this find. Secretary General of Egypt's Supreme Council of 
antiquities, Waziri, compared the artifacts to a set of tombs unearthed nearby a month earlier. One of the uncovered tombs was x-rayed to reveal the state of preservation of the mummy inside. The x-ray revealed the mummy to be a male, 5'4 to 5'7 in height, who had enjoyed good health prior to his death, somewhere between the ages of 40 and 45. Number 2. Walking Whale Researchers in Egypt have confirmed that a fossil found in 2008 belonged to a previously unknown species of land and sea-dwelling whale that lived 43 million years ago. The elongated skull and snout of the four-legged whale indicate its predatory lifestyle. Fossil evidence of a four-legged whale from the Cretaceous period was discovered in Egypt's western desert over a decade ago, and experts there have since determined that the creature belonged to a new whale species. It's thought that this creature, an ancient relative of today's whales, existed 43 million years Years ago. In 2008, a group of Egyptian environmentalists discovered the fossil in once submerged region under the ocean. For the first time in Egypt's long history of vertebrate paleontology, a group of Egyptian researchers has taken the lead in documenting a previously unknown genus and species of four-legged whale. The fossil provides insight into how whales transitioned from herbivores, land mammals, to the modern carnivorous species that exist only in the ocean. The change occurred over about 10 million years. The newly discovered creature is a member of the protected family of extinct semi-aquatic whales that existed between 59 and 34 million years ago. It probably did both, walking on land and hunting in the water. Number 1. Valley of the Golden Mummies In 1996, while riding across the desert on his donkey, an antiquities guard at the Temple of Alexander the Great made our discovery. The donkey collapsed after one of its legs suddenly gave out. There was a shallow crater in the sand where the donkey had fallen. On April 17, 2001, it was uncovered. A total of 105 mummies, mostly of high-ranking Roman Egyptians, and many of whom were buried in elaborate gold mask coffins, were discovered in four separate tombs. These mummies, many of which are lavishly decorated with scenes from the religion, are among the finest Roman-era mummies ever discovered in Egypt. These artifacts are roughly 2,000 years old, but they've held up remarkably well considering their age. More details about the daily lives and final moments of the Egyptians who had been residing in Baharia since 332 BC. Since Pharaonic times, the people have gotten rich by sending wine to the Nile Valley. Create vivid mental images in the minds of your audience. Many people's only exposure to mummies is via terrifying cinematic depictions. Their mere mention conjures up images from terrifying films. However, the significance of this discovery lies in the fact that it is the first noteworthy event of the modern era to speak widespread interest in Egypt. This intrigues me, but that despite the mummy's supposedly terrifying reputation, it doesn't frighten me. This amazing discovery expands my knowledge of ancient civilizations and other cultures. Which of these finds was most scary to you? Share your view about it in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and share the page. Remember to see other interesting videos on the channel.